To begin the chapter on polygon modeling, let's start with Booleans, which is a technique for combining objects, either subtracting or adding, or finding the intersection among various volumes. We'll use a Boolean to create holes in our walls for doors, windows, and an arch. I've got a walls object and a bunch of boxes. I'm going to use those boxes to cut holes in the wall. Let's investigate that wall. I'll select it and in the Modify panel, reveal that it started its life as an editable spline and then it got extruded. We can disable the extrude modifier for a moment with the little visibility icon and we can see the editable spline directly. Let's get in close in the top viewport, control alt middle mouse and pan around with middle mouse. It's composed of three subsplines. If we go to the editable spline object and select by spline sub object, we can click on these and reveal the selection. So there's one interior spline and then there's an exterior spline. And up here at the top in the north part of the building, I've got a third spline, interior, and that's going to be an area for a hot tub. So we've got a semi-complicated setup here for the editable spline in which we have two splines nested inside a third one. Okay, I'll bomb out of sub-object mode, re-enable the extrude, and go back up to the top of the stack. So this is an extruded spline, and that's probably just fine for a Boolean operation. But just to be safe, you usually want to convert a complex object to editable poly before doing a Boolean. I'll do that. I'll right click in the perspective view and from the pop up quad menu, choose convert to convert to editable poly. I've created all of the boxes to subtract the doors and windows. I also need one for a portal here in this north wall. I'll create one more box. Go to the Create panel, click on Box, and click and drag in the perspective view, really anywhere. Release the mouse and drag up to set the height of that box. Click to exit that box, and then right click to exit the tool. Let's center it up, grab the Move tool, give it an X position value of zero, press Tab, and a Y position value of 10.5 meters. We can zoom in on that selected object in the perspective view. Right click in the view so you don't lose your selection and press the Z key. So that box is in the right position more or less, but we need to change up its parameters for its dimensions. Go to the modify panel and we'll set a length of only one meter. It only needs to be just thick enough to penetrate that wall on both sides. As we can see here in the top viewport, the width will be two meters and the height 2.5 meters. And if we investigate this very closely, we'll notice that we'll have coincident polygons at the bottom of the box. The polygons at the very bottom of the box will be coincident with the polygons on the bottom of the wall. I'll orbit around with Alt and Middle Mouse, getting closer there, Control Alt Middle Mouse. We've got coincident polygons here, and that could be a problem. I can make that more dramatic, make it a little bit more obvious by changing the color of the walls. Just select the walls. And we've got a color swatch up here at the top of the command panel. We'll set that to a bright pink and click OK. And here we can see some Z fighting in which the renderer in the viewport can't tell which polygon is in front. And that problem will also manifest in the Boolean. The problem we'll see is that we may get an extra polygon here at the threshold because the Boolean doesn't know whether to include this polygon in the subtraction or not. To work around that, we'll just move the box down a little bit, select it, and give it a Z position of negative 0.25 meters. And now it's the correct height, correct width, and the thickness is enough to cut the hole. We won't get any extra polygons at the bottom because we've got a little bit of extra volume down here. And we can see that in, for example, the left view, press the Z key, the box volume is going down a little bit lower than the wall. Okay, our scene is set up for creating a Boolean compound object. We'll take a look at that in the following movie.